And joining us now is Joanna Pokori. She is the director of the Asian Arts and Culture Center over at Towson University. Thanks for joining us this morning. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Listen, there may be some folks that don't know the center exists there, but it seems like you've been around for a bit. Tell me a little bit about it. Right. The Asian Arts and Culture Center has actually been around for 51 years now. I haven't been there that long, <laughs> but it has been around since that time when the then president of Towson University wanted students to um, encounter art in their daily lives and also open their minds to different cultures. And um, he chose Asia because at the time there was this conflict in South Asia. So he thought Southeast Asia, and he really wanted um, to sort of de um, uh, co combat the dehumanization of Asians at that time. Sure. And speaking of which, because you have the sign behind you, stop AAPI hate, uh, I'm guessing the center became very important recently right now, just to, so people can enrich their own lives, learn about a different culture. Yeah. Yeah, so actually, you know, AAPI hate is nothing new. It's just um, one of those things that it's getting more um, attention these days. You know, unfortunately, um, things aren't, aren't better after 51 years of our work. <laughs> you know, it's a big uh, thing to tackle. You know, we always have these social justice uh, problems in the United States and throughout the world. So, um, yeah, so we've just been working through the arts and culture to have help people have encounters with Asia and um, get to know the cultures better. And in recent times, um, it, we've just really been able to promote the um, AAPI voices and AAPI stories and the work of Asian American um, artists and creatives. Yeah, one way you're doing that is with Asian North 2022 exhibition. And I like the subtitle here of Remembrance, Resilience, Power, and Pride. And it's really become an empowering space, I feel like, just not just for the artists, but for those also who come to see the exhibit. Yeah, it's a beautiful exhibition curated by my colleague, Narisa Paglinowin, who was the program manager. And I apologize, she couldn't join us today. And um, she came up with that theme. Actually, um, we also have a wonderful graduate assistant, Wei Ann Reedy, who has in the exhibition a um, Growing Our Gardens Living Altar. And the idea is, you know, all of the struggles that AAPIs have been through historically and especially in recent years, this is a proactive space where people can um, write their thoughts about someone they lost or someone they care about and what they hope for the future. And then Narisa was inspired by Wei Ann's altar and thought that should be the theme for the exhibition basically. And she um, collapsed it into the ideas of remembrance, resilience, power, and pride. So um, there are 33 artists, I think, wow. in the exhibition. And um, all of them have at least one. Some have several works in the exhibition, which is in two places in Station North um, Arts District in Baltimore at the Still Point Theater and at the Motor House. And all of the um, the works address these themes. For the folks who do come out to see this, what do you hope they walk away with? I, you know, like always, we want them to really feel like they're getting to know the AI, AAPI community um, on a one-to-one -one basis. If you look at each of these artworks, you really um, get, you really feel like you've gotten to know this person. And in many cases, you realize that they've had experiences that we've never thought of and that they're nuanced. You know, there are these overarching um, themes that we think we know about this very large and diverse community. But if you look at things one by one, even works by different works by one artist, it really um, creates this sense of um, the complexity and the individuality of each artist. Right, last thing, I'll get you to give me the particulars if people want to come out and see either one of these uh, exhibits. Where can they go and how long are these uh, galleries going to be around? So they are going to be open to the public. They opened in um, April 8th mm -hmm. and they'll be on view through um, May 28th. And the Still Point Theater Gallery is open Thursdays through Saturdays in the evenings, 5 to 8 p.m. And the Motor House has 
a little different schedule. Um, yeah, I think I have you covered on that one. I think it's uh, yeah, is it yeah, Tuesday it's through kind Friday? Of more complicated. Yeah, but Tuesday when they're open. I've I've got is Tuesday through Friday, noon to two, and then ten to seven. I'm sorry, seven to ten as well. So noon to two, seven yes. to ten, Tuesday. Uh, through Friday. That's, that's a good one. Thank you. That's kind of a complicated schedule. That's all right. I'm here for the assist. <laughs> Joanna, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, certainly. All right. Once again, if you're interested in checking out these shows, Still Point Theater Gallery open Thursday through Saturday. That's five to eight. Proof of vaccination is required. The Motor House, one more time, open Tuesday through Friday. That's noon to two and seven to ten. Masks are required there.